This exercise is called the kneeling plank. This helps the patient increase their activation of their core stabilization. So you have the patient start on the mat or the floor in all fours. So you're going to go on the elbows and the knees, making sure that the shoulders and hips are nice and straight in terms of alignment. You know, rolling the hips, keeping the core activated here, and also no rolling around the shoulders or um, through the thoracic spine as well. Make sure your head is in neutral and no sagging from the back for increased low doses. So this is a held position, a static position. They can hold it for maybe 15, 20, 30 seconds, twice per minute preferably, if they can tolerate it. To progress this exercise a little farther, we can just have them lift their feet up off the floor. That way it's only their knees and only their elbows on the floor. To make it a little bit harder, we can have a standing plank. Now they're gonna go on their toes and their elbows only. At this point, you want the shoulders, hips, knees in alignment once again, so there's no increased arch in the back, no drop in the back as well. This is also going to be a hold twice for 30 seconds, maybe a minute if they can tolerate. These were the kneeling planks and now the standard plank.